You guys want to know what's a trip? At the island that I'm looking at, and that what you guys are looking at, was totally closed off to the world and to the public until 1991. 30 years ago, this place was totally closed off and is finally open for tourists to go roam around, check it out. And now you may be asking yourself, well, Ramez, where are you? Because you haven't even told us yet. Well, that's my bad. We're actually on the island of Beast, Croatia. It's the furthest island from the mainland. It takes about three hours to get here in a ferry. I got here last night. You guys are currently in my messy ass Airbnb room. And we are currently in this area right here, which is Kut. I don't know if you can see it, but we're in Kut. And the plan today is to rent a motorcycle and drive around this whole island of Beast. We're gonna go around this whole thing. Now, first off, you're probably thinking maybe, why did you even pick Beast? What's cool about Beast that you're gonna go check out? Well, let me tell you, Beast is old. It's like 400 to 300 BC old, first colonized by the Greeks, and then contested and given to the Romans, and then to the Venetians, and then the French during Napoleonic times, and then the British. I mean, it's been a contested spot just because militarily speaking, it's in a perfect location to have a Navy base or to have an Air Force base. So up until recently, in World War II, this place was the hiding point of Joseph Broz, which is a leader of Yugoslavia. You, most people know him as Tito. So right here is Tito's cave, which is the which is the his headquarters that he worked out of during World War II. After World War II, and he came out of the cave, he became leader of Yugoslavia and ran Yugoslavia for around 30 years. Well, during that time, this whole island was used as a Yugoslavian Navy base. And when they left, all the bases and all the tunnels and everything were abandoned. And when, again, tourists were able to come here in 1991, now we can go around, check it out, see the remains. There were a lot of mines here at one point, I guess I think in like 19, or I think in 2008, they finally cleared out all the mines from the island. So hopefully we don't have to worry about any mines. But the plan today is to go on the motorcycle around the island, see Tito's cave, See if we can find any other uh, military, abandoned military areas. There's also really nice beaches, wineries, right here in this area. So right now we're in Beast Town, which is all the way on this side of the island. We're gonna go to also Camisa, which takes you to the island of Bisevo. And then you can go to this blue cave, which is supposed to be a really dope tourist attraction. Who knows, it's gonna be adventure. So join me. Here's Kut behind me. There's my bike. Yeah, oh, here's a doggo. Hi doggo. Hi. Hi, doggo. There's doggos on this island, not sure how they got here. The boats where everyone comes and docks in on, there's my bike. But I thought, guys, before we go on this adventure, might as well get an ale. So let's stop by this place called Konobo Tavern and get an ale real quick. Ever come to Croatia? You gotta try this stuff. Azushko. Stuff's good. All right, guys, let's do it. All right guys, so I just wanted to pull over the, the bad boy right here because I thought this was interesting. See right there on the side of the mountain, there's that hole that used to be to hide Navy boats during World War II. And during uh, the time that Tito owned Yugoslavia or was the leader of Yugoslavia, uh, you could see it's like hidden, it's abandoned now and fishermen are using it to put their boats in there. But uh, I think there's a whole bunch of abandoned places around this island. So uh, let's go see some more. So this looks kind of sketchy with the bike. I don't know if I want to take that through there. So I'm just going to get on foot. It looks like there's like a tower over there. So I have no idea where I am right now, but there's no one else out here. Let's see what we can find. Looks like some abandoned buildings right here. I'm sure they were used during the war. Is that a bra? Yeah. I just keep finding these dodgy areas, guys. There's no one else out here squatting.
Hmm. This is the second spot in Croatia we found that looks like this. At one point it was used for something. I mean, this used to be Tito's getaway and uh, the Yugoslavian Navy, a Navy island. Looks like someone tagged some stuff right there. Seems like a just seems like a abandoned little house. Let's uh let's keep moving and see what else we can find. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh the echo is so loud in there. I thought it someone else was talking to me. Jesus Christ, this is sketchy. Oh my god, I don't even know if I I don't even know if I want to walk in there. Hello? Is anyone in there? Should we check it out? Lock. Now let's see uh, what we got in here. Wow, oh, I have no idea where this leads to. See, there's been some people here. I don't know what these tunnels were used for. Oh, it's so dark in here. It looks like it ends right here. I mean, if you think about it, God, that is fucking sketchy. I'm getting goosebumps just being out here. Um, I mean, Tito, who is the leader of Yugoslavia, used this island as a base and his headquarters during World War II, where you can imagine the Germans and the Italians were in this area, probably trying to, you know, find any Yugoslavian uh, uh, people in the war and just, you know, kill them. So he used this island as a super secluded getaway. And you could just tell right there by that tunnel um, that he was not joking when they used this place to um, try to get away. We gotta find Tito's cave. I'm not happy until we find Tito's cave. None of this means anything until I find that. So, on a mission, let's do it. We're finding Tito's cave, baby. So guys, I don't know if you could see this, but it looks like an abandoned house over there. Some cool structures over here. Looks pretty dodgy, kind of sketchy. see what this place is guys definitely abandoned curious to see if there's anything interesting inside Ugh. hopefully no ah crazy creations I don't know if someone's actually using it still it looks abandoned I don't know guys, what if it's like some crazy Yugoslavian military headquarters has some fucking gnarly shit in there. Let's see. What if someone's actually still living in here? Hello? You got a nice view. Can't go on that door. It's kind of brushy in there. Let's see if we could walk this way. Oh. 
Looks like it used to be a house. Someone used to live in here. I don't know when, but I guess they just abandoned it. I wonder when it, how old it is. Hello? Whew. Well, this room, this room leads to nowhere. I don't know guys, it doesn't look like there's much to it. Let's keep going. All right guys, to give you some reference, we just came from there, Beast Town. And now we're right here. This is Colmyville. We'll stop here, maybe get some food and a drink. And I believe Tito's Cave is somewhere around there, so around this area, I don't know where. But there's still a lot to see, guys. Only problem is, based on the weather, it looks like it's raining over there. All right, guys, some bad news. It just drained, it just rained so hard. It's where I am, uh, I'm totally drenched and uh, I think this camera got damaged, so I have to take a pit stop. I'm not sure where we are right now, but it looks pretty cool. All right, guys, so I'm in the middle of nowhere right now on this island of Vise, and I could easily go back to my Airbnb right now and take a nice warm shower, but we're finding this goddamn cave. So let's see where we're at. I believe I'm right here, all right? But we need to get right there, Titovas Lila, Tito's cave. I'm not giving up till we find it. We're getting this fucking cave. Some good news, just came across the street. It says Titova Spilia. I'm pretty sure that's where the cave is. So we're on the right track. What's up, man? Um, I think we're almost there, guys. We're gonna make it. Looks like it went a little bit too far. The cave is supposed to be like somewhere on this mountain, but I'm now seeing this. It says, attention, no admittance, no can't, no photos. It looks like this is a, I don't know what this is, but I'm not supposed to be up here. So let's go back down before I get in trouble. Uh, and I think the cave's down there, hopefully. Or else, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing up here. But Mount, this is Mount Hum, guys. This is the, the tallest point on, uh, the island Vis, the Vis Island. So at least we get to see that. So this must be it because I went to the top of that mountain and uh, I couldn't find anything. So this looks like a stairwell. It doesn't have any sign saying this is what it is, nothing. So let's uh, let's see what the fuck we, uh, we got going on over here. So it says Tito right there. It's a good sign. <sighs> Lots of steps everywhere. Steps everywhere in Croatia, guys. And I'm freezing. Oh. All for the adventure. All right, guys, so we found it. Here's Tito's cave. There's a plaque saying this is where uh, he was in 1944. He was trying to get away from the Nazis and the Italians who were trying to find him. So he had his headquarters in his base up here. And so this is where they were plotting against the Nazis and Hitler. And you can only imagine, this is why it's so hard to find. Well guys, I, uh, I hope you liked this little journey we went on, showing you guys the, uh, the abandoned places of Vis, where uh, the late leader of Yugoslavia, Tito, uh, hid from the Nazis. Just one little journey we're gonna go on. If you liked it, if you like this journey, if you like these kind of historical cool things that we're doing, Subscribe to the channel. You're gonna get uh, updated with more videos. Give me a like, support the, support the cause. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go take a nice warm shower. Peace.